he said that he thought that you could walk into every single high school in America and find a seven foot high jumper. And it wouldn't be very, like, it wouldn't take much for you to produce, like, to coach someone to being able to jump around 215, which is a significant barrier. That's always kind of intrigued me. And I've always looked at it and said, like, why, why isn't that the case that we've got that many jumpers? I think, you know, coaches and accessibility to a quality level of coaching is definitely there. But I think that they're just being dragged into other sports that have a lot of money. And we, we're losing a lot of quality jumpers to that for sure. And with regards to the training, I think that, yeah, we, we've got to this, we got to this stage in the early 2000s and moved into 2010 sort of era. I think dynamic training went into a bit of a wishy-washy period. Yeah, we, we've lost a little bit with regards to that American formula for success. Um, and I think you see it when, so like I watched, I watched a Watts Gravity event, which was Barshim's high jump event in Qatar. And they had a load of the Europeans. They had, obviously, Barshim was there, the Qatari. And then they had uh, had an American. You can just see the difference. There's like there's like an aesthetic flow to how the Europeans jump. And it's similar to kind of the Qatari boy, but he is coached. He was an, uh, originally coached by a European guy. So then you see the American, and it's very it's it's just incredibly strong. Just has a great natural ability, but actually how he's doing things when he jumps, maybe it's because he's not spending so much time on the specifics of actual jumping plyometrics in comparison to what the, maybe the Europeans are doing. So they're working a lot more on quality of movement as opposed to, and you know, someone might absolutely butcher me for saying that, but it looks like that as an outsider. An outsider's perspective, it massively looks like that. And you do often get it. And then because of that, you get a real large inconsistency from American high jumpers. 